are known to many since independence to the year 1999, the Kenya Defense Forces discouraged female soldiers from getting married or giving birth due to inconvenience of juggling between family life and the military duties. Lieutenant Colonel Martha Waidaka served as the Women Corporation Commander until reforms were initiated that saw the easing of such restrictions. Nisi Imano has the details. Lieutenant Colonel Martha Njeri Waidaka joined the military in the late 1970s thanks to her nursing profession. Because I like nursing right from the time I was a young girl. One time, one day my uncle brought me a letter and uh, when I opened that letter, I saw that I'd been called for an interview at uh, Kenyatta, Kenyatta School of Nursing. I went for that interview and I was successful. So in 1971, I joined nursing. The interest came when she was working at Madare Mental Hospital in 1977. While at Madare, I worked with some two nurses from the military. And they are the ones actually who told me, Mom, why can't you come and join the military? I said, no, because we were supposed to be the pioneers as nursing officers. Then eventually I said, oh, let me give it a try. Martha worked for a decade, rising up the ranks to becoming the highest ranking woman commander then. When the promotion came, I remember I was just inside here in my house, and when the, <clears throat> the results came of the number one board, one of the officers called me, and he told me, Mom, congratulations. I asked him for what? You've been promoted and appointed CEO Women's Service Corps. <laughs> In October of 1971, the Kenya Army recruited women for the first time. Now, Women's Service Corps Akira was set up as a, as a unit of the Army because as of that time, it's only the Kenya Army that recruited women. But agitation continued for women to be recruited to join other units of the military. The military actually is a kind of, uh, you know, they, they, they are seen like, you know, a fighting kind of you know, component. And therefore, they looked at it and saw now women may not be able to take up the roles that men would take, you know, if there is anything, combat and all this. Were the military duties so uniquely masculine? Some roles actually came up for the, for the girls, you know, like uh, clerical, uh, being, you know, stores, drivers, signorers, communicators. And this is where now the women now started having, you know, specific roles that they could pray. How different was the training for the Women's Service Corps? Now, the training actually was basically the same. Yeah, it's only that, you know, upon recruitment, we used to have the women uh, trained within the Women's Service Corps. The Kenya Air Force was tasked with housing the Women's Corps. This is where they can have a camp, a women camp within a base for security reasons. Being women, at least you know they needed a lot of a lot of care and all this, and that's how the women's service course started. But the wars of women in the military were far from over, as terms and conditions of service were still not conducive. Did not allow them to to become pregnant or even to get married. But in the event that one wanted at least to go and get married or start a family, they would be discharged from the from the service. Again, there was a public uproar in the fight for equality in the military. Police already had really been around at least to, to get married and even to have children. And I remember with the police, you know, in the event that a girl, perhaps a police woman, you know, feels to get married, at least they were allowed to have one, one child. So the question was now, why them, why not these ones, you know? Military as an employer was expected to employ all, regardless of gender. The women, you know, my Andrea, were now working in agitation. They started actually, you know, trying at least to see whether those terms could be changed. But it took a long, 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 long time for them to be, to be changed. And therefore, any girl who would become pregnant, they just, upon uh, being discovered, she would just be ready to go home. 
Eventually, in November of 1999, President Moi allowed for equal rights to be granted to men and women. It was a very joyous moment, more so for the women, me inclusive. The world was open for the girls because today there's a lot of progression because when I was there, I was the highest, the senior most, but today we have Major General. This was the climax of the Women's Service Corps. They all went to celebrate in whatever ways, you know, they knew how. Colonel Martha Waidaka was the last commanding officer of the Women's Service Corps until 1999 when reforms were made for women to be absorbed in the Kenya Army, the Kenya Air Force and the Kenya Navy. Reporting for KBC from Donholm in Nairobi County, Amnesty Emmanuel.